Okay, so in uh, continuation of the last video, let's take a look at how we uh, can now uh, shift the marker to somewhere else and how we can um, animate the camera of the map. So basically the camera of the map is basically the view using which you are looking at the map. Um, it's uh, You can think of the, uh, the, the camera on the satellite via which you're looking at the map. So if you shift the camera, it means the map you're looking at is shifting. If you bring the camera closer to ground, it means you're zooming into the map, okay? Um, so we have uh, the Sydney marker here. Let's say you want to put a marker at, um, uh, let's say coding blocks, okay? So how to put up a marker on coding blocks? We need the latitude and uh, longitude of coding blocks to be able to do that. Uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, you know uh, let's search for coding blocks and we'll open coding blocks on our map. There we go. And from the URL, we can see the latitude and the longitude. There we go. This is the latitude and this is the longitude of coding blocks. So let's pick this up and here we go. We're gonna put these values here. And let's just refactor this to Coding blocks. Okay, uh, let's uh, change the name of the title of the marker to. Uh, oh, let me just hide my face. Uh, yeah, let's change the name of the marker to uh, coding blocks here, right? And uh, can move the camera to coding blocks now. Let's just uh, apply these changes to our app and see what happens uh, when these changes get applied and there you go so now this map focuses on uh, new delhi and to be precise on putting blocks okay now uh, if you can change the amount of zoom you're doing uh, in this move camera object uh, takes a camera update object as an argument so we will use a camera update factory to create a new lat long zoom where the new lat long would be provided as coding blocks object and the zoom we can provide a value from 0 to 16 i think that's the maximum zoom and 0 is the least zoom so let's zoom up to 14 uh, it has to be a float so 14f okay and uh, instead of using move camera let's use the function move uh, animate camera Okay, so animate camera, what does that do? Let's apply this again and let's take a look at what's going to happen. Okay, now let me uh, uh, go somewhere else and let's, you know, close the app and let's just open it once again. Here we go. Oh, let's, uh, we need to run the app fresh once again. So as you can see, if you use animate uh, camera, the motion of the camera is uh, animated so that, uh, you know, it looks like you're flying into that location. So I'll show you that to you again. I click on map and there we go. Okay. One more time, click on map and there the camera animates to the location. Now this animation happens if you use animate camera, if you use move camera, it just happens in an abrupt motion, okay.